All right, people, this is the um, review for the uh, Nexus 6. Uh, I'm not going to do a review with the um, with the uh, regular ROM on there because, let's be honest, um, every, that review has been beat to death. Uh, let me go ahead and take this cover off here. This is, uh, covers off, just the AT&T version, 32 gigs uh, uh, version. Uh, this uh, stuff on the front of my. I, I use the gel cases from Amazon, man. These things are in a lot of ways even better than Otter boxes because they're small, they're form fitting, and when you drop your phone, they just just kind of bounces off. So, bounces off the ground. Uh, this is the uh, I'm using BlackBerry Messenger. This is the review for the uh, Nexus Six. I'm using the Chroma ROM. Uh, let's see. Let me get this Chrome. Uh, I have the uh, I have it the Nova Launcher with the Chroma ROM. Uh, you can get that on um, on XDA uh, running Nexus uh, Android version 5.0 and uh, 5.0 is uh, uh, 5, well, I'm sorry not 5.0 5.1 which has uh, the memory leak fixes and stuff like that from uh, that was uh, that was so bad in 5.0 the 5.0 to uh, 5.1 uh, which is which is why I get which is why I get Nexus. Uh, that I'm kind of stuck on Nexus devices because I don't have to wait on updates. I don't have to worry about factory overlays. This is actually build number LMY470. LMY470. Uh, that's a little bit newer than the than the actual stock uh, than the actual stock Nexus uh, um, software version. Um, the uh, Chroma version runs a, is slightly newer ones that haven't been re released to the public yet. So there's a lot of fixes. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So here we go. Uh, we got some. Got, okay, I made the DPI a little small down there. I put a link to this Chroma ROM in there. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I have it on Nova where you swipe up to get your your uh, your your OK Google as far as the. Uh, okay, it just it just had. It. But I get that as far as the searches, the uh, swipe down. I have them for my apps. Uh, and I, I want to say the uh, yeah I have the double tap that brings up my my uh, settings and things like that so it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see. Let me get my let me get my YouTube going. Let's see how fast that 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 launches here. Okay, there we go. YouTube launches not so not so slow. Uh, I have um I have the Blackberry Messenger, and I also have the uh, the uh, Google regular Google Messenger. That's pretty cool there. Um, I have the camera effects. Uh, I really not just the the biggest lover of the Google um, camera. I'm testing out different cameras. Uh, to me, the camera just doesn't. It's just it's not as good as Samsung cameras. It's not as good as the iPhone camera. I won't lie. Uh, it's not as quick. Shutter speed is really slow. Uh, it's just, Definitely a letdown in the camera department. Definitely a letdown in the battery department. <laughs> uh, these ROMs have actually uh, helped a little bit with the battery. The battery, uh, uh, battery life to be, I think it's 3220 mAh is just not the best for that kind of uh, that that size of a battery. Screen is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, I'm coming from a One Plus One, so I'm coming from a screen that wasn't that good, uh, 1080p. Yeah, so it was decent, but it didn't have the Good colors and saturation that that I'm that I'm used to. A molded display, um, and I'm coming to this, and uh, it's a really good display. Like I said, battery life is a little bit of a letdown, but it does charge quick. It has the when you use your turbo charger, it does charge quick. They have the phone right there. Uh, what else? You got? I got different little games. Uh, there's, let's see what Final Fantasy does. Let's see how quick that goes. There we go. It's really a lot, a lot better with that with the DPI on the uh, for the soft keys to be a little smaller because I really don't like it to be too. There's that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, as far as uh, searching or stuff like that, uh, go to this site right here, motorhouston.com. Say that was pretty quick. I'm on Wi-Fi anyway, so yeah. Um, let me see. Go to Amazon. We can go to Amazon there. That's pretty quick, Amazon. So, uh, like I said, pretty cool phone. Uh, a little bit bigger than I 
bigger than I like, to be honest with you. I'm not not a huge fan of the size of this phone. Uh, hope, hoping that I'm really, really hoping that that uh, next Nexus uh, is it, is a little bit smaller than this because uh, it's it's just it's it's a little bit big at times. I I like it to be a little smaller uh, um, a lot of times. Uh, let's go here. Uh, showing you around the, the chroma ROM here. Uh, it has the LED. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the uh, Nexus 6 actually does have a LED up there at the top, but uh, it's stock uh, AT and T or Verizon or or whatever. It's just it does. They don't actually use it. It's there, but they don't actually use it. So uh, a lot of these custom ROMs are act uh, have it where they you can customize it to make it where this is red. I had a red for the batteries going low. Or uh, you can have green for when the battery's charged all up, or whatever you want to do. So that's about my uh, uh, my thoughts on this device. Uh, battery life is is iffy. I mean, if if you but if you want to stay the up to date uh, newest version of Android, this this really is it. Um, like I said before, I'm not a person that uh, stays behind a desk or anything like that. I'm a blue collar worker, so I'm. I'm a guy that uh that doesn't get to just charge my phone all the time and and uh and get to do stuff like you know stuff like that uh, I have to I have to be away from charger so I need a phone that's got a good battery life and uh I'm not going to be doing all the work emails and stuff like that I'm just not going to be doing all that so uh but this thing does handle email and everything quick and efficient no android overlays like thick uh touch whiz and stuff like that so um it's my review of the uh, Nexus 6 running Chroma ROM. I'll make sure I put that Chroma uh, link at the display. I mean, this this ROM is very, very, very stable. It's not like the CM ROMs where you got random reboots and things like that. This thing is stable. It's pretty much stock uh, with some little tweaks. Uh, one of the best tweaks I, before, I, before I end the video is that you can go to the recents and just hit the uh, boom. That killed everything all your recent apps because uh you know with with uh 5.0 5.1 they have it where you'll you'll have you might have 30 tabs you know i mean or whatever so i mean i imagine that's something that'll really drain your ram uh slow your phone down maybe potentially so and it and they stay alive after you reboot the phone that's the weird thing about it so uh pretty cool pretty cool rom uh definitely uh recommended now, it's, like I said, it's the review of the phone. All you got to do is unlock your bootloader, which is really easy. Flash this ROM. There you go. Boom. That's You got yourself a, a modified stock ROM that's A1 that's a better than the stock ROM. All right. Well, there you go. Review of the Nexus 6. AT&T version, 32 gig. I wish they would have had the 64 because I really, really need that 64 gigs. All right.